Crazy ideas, inventions, fantasies are too often just that. Just ideas, just daydreams. This is a story of an idea that became a mission and then reality. The idea was born sitting on a couch under a huge map of Louisiana. I've always been drawn to big adventures, so with the giant Lake Pontchartrain staring at me from across the room, I could swear it was challenging me to something. So my fellow adventure addict and I came up with the idea. Paddle a raft around the whole lake and plant wetlands grasses all along the way. First, you need to know, the wetlands of southern Louisiana are disappearing, fast. A football field every half an hour. They're disappearing because of the 15,000 miles of canals dug through the wetlands, rising sea level, invasive species, hurricanes, and most importantly, because we no longer allow the fresh sediment-rich waters of the Mississippi to flood surrounding wetlands that rely on them. As we lose our wetlands, we lose an essential habitat for migratory birds, for fish, shrimp, crabs, and the people who base their lives on catching them. For the people of southern Louisiana, the wetlands not only supply the basis for the economy, recreation, and culture, they serve as a protective buffer from hurricanes and their deadly floodwaters. I came to Common Ground Relief as a short-term volunteer, but after learning about this environmental emergency, I became inspired to stay longer. It was after a year or so of working with hundreds of volunteers, growing and then planting tens of thousands of wetlands, grasses, and trees all over southern Louisiana that circumpontetration was born. Our first idea for the raft was two canoes lashed together with a flat platform connecting them. But after a treacherous test paddle, we knew that if we were going to do this, we were going to need a much more serious raft. Even in moderate winds, the waves on the shallow lake easily crash over the sides of a canoe. So after some brainstorming, we decided to build a sailboat. At that point, the trip changed. It would have been much easier to buy a used boat, but we decided we wanted the challenge of building a boat from the ground up. After months of cutting wood, laying fiberglass, painting, recruiting crew members, having them bail, recruiting more, and all kinds of bureaucratic hoops and hurdles, we had a solid floating platform. We scrambled to get all of our gear together, and a couple of days after that successful test sail, we were out at the Kenner boat launch with a small gathering of friends and well-wishers. It wasn't the most graceful launch, but finally both sails caught the wind and we started sailing away. The feeling I got as I looked at the city getting smaller and smaller, with our ragtag crew of three and our fully stocked boat was surreal. We were all giddy, excited for our adventure that has finally started, nearly a year after being conceived. The first few days were completely ideal. We had good wind, good weather, plenty of food, and we got some good plantings done. As we continued, we planted about 600 pots of marsh grasses and a few hundred cypress trees. I was the happiest while sailing in steady winds during and after the sunset. We did some exploring of abandoned ships and shacks. We did lots of swimming and ate very well. Sometimes we slept on the boat, sometimes on the land. Finally though, after about three weeks of sailing and making it about three quarters of the way around the lake, we ran into a string of problems. First, we noticed a small tear in the sail, but then while my crew was gallivanting on the shore, the rudders broke their hinges. We were able to unhook it and paddle it back to our campsite, and we were picked up the next day. The boat is on its trailer now at the Common Ground Relief Wetlands Nursery. It needs a couple of days of work, but soon we will be back out planting and sailing again. Circumpontetration was important to me, not because of the number of grasses we planted, but because of the fact that we were able to take an idea and make it an adventure. The issue of wetlands loss is not going away anytime soon, and we need more people to get involved. If you have an idea, do something about it.